Okay, continuing along with uh, some excerpts from my uh, unpublished book, Circular Family. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. English, Irish, Dutch, and Jew, and the little Norwegian too. Jesus loves the little children of the world. It's the adults he has trouble with. And let us now pick up a new skill, a new tool from our bench with which to heal the wounds of the low energies let loose upon our planet. All religious doctrine exhorts one to love thy enemies. Hmm? Love thy enemies. Love thy brother as thyself. Love thy brother as thyself. Do we love ourselves so horribly? Aside from the original sin concept sold to us by our religion, why can we not do this? Why is there a fear of sharing truth, if that's what it is, of accepting a common revelation? Or accepting. <laughs> we seem to want to own it, to explain it all ourselves. When we cannot, we rail against it, ignoring the facts for our truth and preferring to distract ourselves with wars of power and glory, wars we conveniently tell ourselves God decrees. Seems to me war is undertaken when the economy decrees, eh? All right, porn. Hottest use for the internet. Yes, boys and girls, sexual dysfunction and abusive relationships are symptoms of repressed sexuality. Weird, eh? Our religious puritanical stance has created a taboo that has been exploited to the point of abundant child pornography, sex slaves, along with the rise in STDs, understatement, understatement, understatement. In many places, AIDS and HIV are epidemic, understatement. This still does not stop people. We love our death cult, right? We worship a dying, tortured man on a stick, for heaven's sake. The hang-up about sexuality can be seen to come from the old goddess energy cults who regularly use sexual acts as ritual. Now the sexuality of the female is vilified, commercialized in pornography, objectified, and as usual, made to represent the bosom of evil. Any healing, nurturing, ecstasy, or joy was to come through God, whose reps on earth were the church, all other hocus pocus or any trying to use natural power yourself, and you were obviously inspired by the devil. So as a bonus, there was free reign to dutifully murder those who kept to pre-Christian values, knowledge, and ideology. The Holy Spirit, sacred female, mother virgin whore, sister, where art thou? Due to the daily bombardment of undivine images women see of themselves, daily, we find it hard to know our worth, especially the young ones. Margaret Starbird's book, Woman with the Alabaster Jar, great book, check it out, showed how the sister bride archetype is not sanctioned to be a role model of what we experience for women in the faith. Only the virgin or the mother or the whore Whore being the remnant of the divine sacred female. The sister bride. The brother king, then her mate and counterbalance. So for a woman in any modern western faith, she is lost from the start. If the goal is to emulate God, and this God is a male in the sky, well, she's a female. 
Eve is the cause of everyone's pain, so she's going to go into it minus points, and that's a lot of catching up to do just by walking in the door, right? Ever heard of a stacked deck? Besides, you can never become a priestess. Well, kind of, sort of now, can I guess? Where's the Zaz and all that? From a religious point of view, creative expression, imagination, social roles, and the rights and personal power of women are, were and still are limited. The basic mother whore and virgin, mother whore and virgin, were all females could hope to aspire to. The female holy trinity, so to, so to speak. There was no empowered bride or sister, whole woman, archetype allowed. No balance to the bridegroom the Holy Son, the true king whose throne had been usurped by an evil man. The tale of the wounded grail king comes to mind. No bride and a lost chalice, hmm, a lost womb, more like it. We worship a bachelor deity. Yes, how unnatural. The bachelor god concept is so boring. We need a more updated, reflective, spiritual concept. A more updated, reflective, spiritual concept. Let's at least see that we merely want the church. We do not need the church. Then perhaps we can reshape this institution for our upliftment and cohesion as a species. Mother, father, child is the holy relationship. We all know that. That, in my opinion, is the true holy trinity or any kind of family you want to make. From tribal to empire to planetary will be um, part three. Thanks for watching.